Hey there, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be sharing how to roast up one of my favorite winter squashes and that is butternut squash. I absolutely love this squash. I love serving it as a side with protein or putting it on salads. It's also great on pizza, pasta, on green bowls. It adds such a nice sweetness and it's actually a really healthy vegetable for you as well. The one thing that's tough about it is cutting it. So it is a hard squash similar to spaghetti squash or kombucha squash. It's just really hard to cut. So I'm gonna share some tips and tricks about how to cut it and yeah, hopefully it will help you get cooking butternut squash in your kitchen. So the first thing you're gonna need is a vegetable peeler. The skin of butternut squash is edible, but I find it a little bit tough so I like to peel it. This is a Cutco vegetable peeler, which I'll link down below. Got it on Amazon and we really, really like it, especially for um, peeling butternut squash. The other thing you're gonna need is a sturdy cutting board, a large one that stays in place, and then a sharp knife. If you don't have a super sharp knife or if the butternut squash is just too hard to cut, you can also microwave your squash first. I never really do this because I do have sharp enough knives and I don't find that I need to, but if you find that the squash is just so tough, so if you do need to microwave it, what you'll do is cut some slits in it with a knife, about four or five slits, um, just so it doesn't explode in the microwave, and then pop it in the microwave for about three to five minutes, just until it's soft enough for you to cut into it. It will be pretty hot when it comes out, so be careful, make sure it's cool enough for you to touch before you go chopping it. But that's essentially all that you need, so let's hop right in. I'm gonna show you how to roast it up. Start by peeling your squash with a vegetable peeler. Try to get as close to the ends as possible. Then cut the squash in half and then cut off the ends. Take the more rounded end of the squash, cut it in half, and scoop out the seeds. You can just toss those or save the seeds and roast them up. Then take the neck part of the squash and cut it crosswise into rounds as thick as you want your cubes to be. I usually do about one inch. Cut the rounds into sticks and then cut the sticks crosswise into cubes. Once you have all your cubes, add them to a big baking sheet and toss with a little bit of oil and some sea salt. Then use your hands to make sure all the cubes are well coated. Pop the squash in the oven for about 40 minutes at 400 degrees, flipping once about halfway through. You'll know it's done when the squash is tender and some have some brown spots. At this point, you can serve the roasted squash as is, maybe add some herbs and some sea salt and pepper and serve it up as a side, or you can use it in another recipe like my roasted kale and butternut squash salad. So there you have it. It is that easy to roast up butternut squash. As you can tell, I did it in cubes. There's another way to do it if you want the whole squash roasted up. You can easily just cut it in half, no peeling, scoop out the seeds, and then roast it with both sides facing cut side up. That'll give you a nice squash like where you can just scoop it out and use it for like soup or sauces or anything like that. I really like the cubes though for um, uses where you're gonna serve it as a side or um, put it on like a salad or something. So I hope this is helpful. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know how it turns out if you try chopping up and roasting your own butternut squash. And as always, please hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you at my next video.